Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find cosine similarity, correlation coefficient and jacquard index for the given data points. In this example, we have been given uh, two data points that is A and B. With Given this particular data point, uh, we need to find these particular three measures. First, we will try to discuss uh, how to find the cosine similarity. To find the cosine similarity, we need to use this equation. The cosine similarity between A and B is equal to summation of AB divided by square root of summation of A square multiplied by square root of summation of B square here. Now in this equation, we need to know what is the value of uh, summation of AB, summation of A square and summation of B square. So I will uh, create one table which will have all these particular values. So A I have written here, B I have written here, uh, I have calculated AB and then a square and then b square a b is nothing but multiplication between these particular data points a square is one square one square zero square and so on now once this particular calculation is done i have calculated the summation term here that is summation of a here summation of b summation of a b and so on now i will try to put all these particular values in this equation that is summation of a b is equal to how much that is uh, three in this case and what is the value of summation of a square summation of a square is equal to four summation of b square is equal to four so once you put this particular values the equation looks something like this so three divided by the square root of four is equal to two and this is equal to two two plus two is equal to four here and the final answer in this case is 0.75 similarly uh, we can find the correlation between these data points the equation for correlation is equal to n multiplied by summation of eb minus summation of a summation of b divided by square root of this term that is n multiplied by summation of a square minus summation of a bracket square n multiplied by summation of b square minus summation of b bracket square here now what is n n is the number of uh, uh, data points in a and b that is if you look at here totally six things are there from here to here six are there so n is equal to six in this case now again we have these particular values in this particular table that is summation of eb is equal to 3 here summation of a is 4 summation of b is 4 summation of a square is 4 summation of uh, b square is also 4 now if you put all those particular values in this case the equation looks something like this and once you solve it it will become 0.25 over here and the final measurement what we want to calculate is the jacquard index if you want to calculate the jacquard index we need to use this particular equation that is uh, cardinality of a intersection b divided by cardinality of a union b that is cardinality means the number of elements present in a intersection b divided by the number of elements present in uh, a union b here so what is a intersection b is the elements which are present in both the data points that is you can see here this is present in both the cases so there are three data points which are present in both uh, a and b here so that's the reason it will become three in this case divided by union either it may be present in a or it is present in b here so it is present in a present in a now if you look at here this is present in b so it will be one over here between these two it is present in a so that's more than enough it is present in the a union b these two data points so this thing zero is present in both the cases the meaning is it is not available and finally it is available in the union here now it will be 5 here so that is uh, 3 divided by 5 we need to calculate that will become 0.6 over here this is a simple process you can follow to find the cosine similarity correlation coefficient as well as the jacquard index i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching